Hey guys, it's Diffuser3 here, and today for you, I've got some rush gameplay at Striker Karkland. The gun I'm using is the M16A2 Silence, and if you haven't tried it out already, you should really try it out, because it's a really good gun. So anyway, in this gameplay, I'm going to be talking about how you can become a better team player for your team in Battlefield. Now these tips are mainly geared towards beginner players, people that have just come onto Battlefield getting ready for Battlefield 4 and even the new people that are going to be planning to get Battlefield 4 because these tips should help in that game as well. So anyway to start off I gotta say that with your health and ammo packs you gotta know when to use them and use them a lot. Whenever you're near enemies just throw down your packs because pretty much all the time they're going to be needing it whether it's ammo or health they're just going to be needing it. And um you really need to because whenever I'm playing with a team and like we're getting shot r really badly there's always a medic with us and he never throws down his packs it's just like he's there and he's just shooting them with us but he's never throwing down his um health pack you should really consider doing this because it's going to help out your team a lot and then if you're all got full health then it, you can push up to the base and arm the MCOMs or defend them and you're going to win the game with the ammo packs, you should always um, throw, down, throw them down as well because you're going to be running out of ammo and so is your team. Just throw it down in the middle of the team and the good thing for you is you're even going to get XP from it so there's no real downside to it. And then your team can um, stock up on their ammo and then go out and um, start um, defending or attacking the base again. So yeah, know when to use your health and ammo packs and use them well. Next thing is playing the objective when you're in a vehicle. Whenever I'm playing with a team and they're not that good, I always see them and they're just like doing in their vehicles and they're just in the wrong positions all the time. You gotta just be round your base and um, you gotta be like making sure no one's coming in to attack it. And um, if you're attacking, then you just gotta be with your vehicles pushing up because lots of um, the classes only the um, only the engineer and the um, support class can really take out vehicles and that's like if they have the right equipment. The assault class can sometimes take it out and so can the recon if you've got an expo but m most of the time people don't use them. So you gotta make sure that you, in, when you're in a vehicle you're doing the right thing. I've seen a lot of people in vehicles just in the wrong position like if we're defending they're right up in the attackers faces and then it's although they're, uh, they're pushing back the enemies there's going to be a few that break through people spawn on them and then so on and so forth and then finally you've got a breakthrough they've flanked us and they've just armed the base and yeah you got to be in your vehicles and you've got to be defending your base or attacking it and pushing up if you're attacking it. So the other thing is, um, don't know where to position yourself if you're um, an infantry person. So this doesn't. This means that you just don't sit at the back of the map when you're just playing. You gotta be in there with your team. If you are a sniper or something, you wanna be by your base defending it. Try and find a high point where you can stop the enemies from rushing in. In the last NCOM base on this map, you can sit up on that little um little kind of tower kind of place and stop the enemies from coming in over the water on the little islands and stuff you can just take them out from there and that's going to help your team out as less people are going to be getting to the mcoms and then if the people that do you've got more people at your mcoms from your team that can um, stop them from getting in also if you're on the attacking side you can maybe sit at your side of the map and take out the um snipers with your sniper but i don't but this doesn't mean that you can just sit right at the back of the map where you first spawned and try and take them out from there trying to get a really cool long shot this maybe is okay in conquest but in rush it just doesn't help out your team at all and you're basically stopping your team from having an extra player and you're just basically being really bad at the game so you shouldn't do that the final thing I gotta say is spotting. Now spotting is a thing which can help out your whole team. Like just it just is the best thing in the game I gotta say. Spotting is basically like having a personal UAV on you at all times. You can just track anyone and um yeah it's really good. So how you do it is you just um use the select button on the PS3 or the um the other one on the Xbox, I don't know what it's called. It's the one it's the one next to the start button. The little button there and um yeah you just gotta do that press it over an enemy and it'll spot them for like 10 seconds or something now this is really good as if you're in a place and you can see a lot of enemies coming you can spot them all then your other teammates will know that they're coming in that way and they can take them out your teammates are gonna like this a lot as um 
and they'll know where the enemies are and then also you get points for spotting them and when they get killed you get points for that so it's going to be good for you so you should always spot wh whatever you're doing if you're in a vehicle if you're just running about sniping is the best place when you're spotting because um you can see loads more enemies than anyone else so um you can just spot them as they're coming up if you can't take them out and then your other teammates can get them anyway this has been the commentary hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one